Now offhand, para po uh, alam niyo one one thing that hindi na sabi kasi kanina sa 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 atin profile. One of the primary reasons na pinasok natin ito is that I have two sons with special needs. No? I have two sons with autism. So uh, although controversial pa ang causes ng autism, uh, one of the things that yung wife and I felt was that uh, baka if we were to provide cleaner food, food na alam namin kung ano yung, yung pinagdaanan, kung ano yung uh, kinain, kung ano ang na-administer na medication sa kanila, that it would help them through sa journey nila to overcome yung autism nila. So that was one of the main reasons why we started sa, sa goats, why we started sa chickens, why we started dito sa, sa pork. Ano? Kasi sa, sa condition na yun, may, may certain food na preferences yung mga anak ko. Eh, no? So yung isa mahilig sa barbecue, sa tusino, yung isa mahilig sa fried chicken, no? yung isa mahilig sa sinigang na baboy. So, so I, I had to find ways to produce food that would be cleaner for my family. Kaya, kaya ako nag-stumble dito. No? I am not a uh, uh, doctor by profession na, na vet med. I am just like you, no? looking for something to help my family, no? not only for, for health reasons, but something na, that can help augment our income, something to help us uh, preparation natin for retirement. So, uh, what I will be presenting here today basically is just uh, my opinion and uh, my approach. And there can be other people's uh, opinions that may not may be different from this. No? So, so what we're claiming here is not the only way. So there are other ways also. No? This is just one that's based on our experience. No? So uh, we're not claiming to, to know it all. This is just our sharing ng experience natin dito sa kanila. No? So we, we will just go through some of the, the ones that I, I feel na we are relevant sa, sa inquiries ninyo. So first, kanina, I think this was covered na, no? Yung origin ng native pigs. I, I think, uh, napag-usapan na yan kanina. It's actually through Chinese traders kasi half of the breeds of pigs in the world come from China. So they were able to bring some here along with the Spanish and Portuguese colonizers. Those were crossed with some of our feral pigs. Yun yung naging origin ng mga domesticated black pigs natin dito. So uh, that's the origin of our native pigs. No? So we can move on to the next slide. Current state, no? Uh, well, for the longest time, it was mostly in the hands of backyard farmers. Uh, generally neglected. Nakatali sa ilalim ng puno ng mangga. Binabatuhan na lang kung anong maibigay na, na pakain dyan. Minsan yung tiratirang pagkain ng bahay or uh, kung ano man ang, ang mapulot nila na maibigay doon. No? So it's generally neglected. Tapos kung titingnan mo, hindi maganda yung confirmation ng, ng katawan. Di ba? Ma mataas yung, yung, yung chan niya. Uh, the, the barrel, the body barrel is very short and very thin. Ma maninipis yung, yung hams niya. Uh, maninipis yung shoulders niya. So, hindi masyadong maganda yung confirmation ng katawan niya. So, it looks actually wild. Yung mga uh, hindi pinag pinagpaplanuhan yung breeding. Uh, kasi pinabayaan na lang. There's no purpose and direction to the breeding. Ganun na lang, ano? What they did was, yung, yung common kwento nga dyan really is, magbe-breed ng uh, native na baboy yung isang pamilya, darating yung lechonero, kukunin lahat ng mga malulusog at magagandang katawan, so mawawala na yun. Matitira yung bansot at may sakit, iyon ang ibe-breed nila. So naturally, when you breed sickly, poorly conformed animals, chances are there will be no improvement to the breed. So ganyan yung nagiging recurring cycle nung, nung native na baboy. Until quite recently na nagkaroon ng renewed interest yung mga tao. No? So people saw it as a viable source of primary or secondary income due to its ability to thrive in harsh conditions and poor nutrition. So sabihin nun, uh, kahit na nakatali nga sa puno ng mangga, kahit na poor yung nutrition niya, buhay. Di ba? May karne pa rin na nakukuha sa kanya. At may bumibili pa rin kahit na papano. So they figured, ah, may potential siguro ito. 
And then they're uh, seen as a breed capable of an alternative production system from conventional system of hog raising. <coughs> Tulad ng mga inaalagaan ng mga puting baboy kung saan temperature controlled, kung saan protektado sila sa elements at saka yung feeds ang pinapakain sa kanila, ito nabubuhay sa ibang klaseng sistema ng pagpapalaki. So medyo maraming na, na, alert, na alerto dyan. They're seen as a breed capable of being raised in a more economical way in almost every aspect of hog raising. Feeding, di ba? They will eat anything. No? Pero ang conventionally raised na pigs, if hindi maganda yung nutrition na binibigay sa kanila, hindi kaya nila mag-survive under those conditions. Housing. Conven uh, yung mga puting baboy, pagka-exposed sa elements, medyo mahina sila. No, they, 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 mahina yan sa kung babad sa araw, kung babad sa ulan. No, may, they're not as hardy as the black pigs. Na tulad nga ng na pag-usapan natin, na nakatali lang sa ilalim ng mangga, na buhay pa rin. Di ba? And even uh, medication or vaccination requirement, walang nagme-medicate nung, uh, nung black pigs. No, unlike the the white pigs who are heavily dosed with medication. Yung feeds nila, naka-incorporate na doon yung antibiotic. Sobrang daming vaccination. So, the black pig, no need. Diba? So, yan yung reasons why nagkaroon ng renewed interest. Pero meron tayong common assumptions na medyo mali. No? So, there's an assumption that the breed is capable under minimal care, and, pero bordering neglect. If you neglect your animal, the kind of returns that it will give to you will also be neglected or minimal. So, buhusan mo yan ng alaga, buhusan mo yan ng attention, may ibang klaseng performance din yan na ibibigay sa'yo. So, let's not assume na let's get this breed kasi pwede natin itong pabayaan na lang. That's, that's the wrong concept. If, if you want to take care of black pigs, that's not the reason that you should. Uh, there's no need for elaborate housing. Again, no. Provide, provide them with everything that they need, and they'll do the same thing for you. Eh. Pwedeng pa kainin ng kanin baboy. Actually, kanin baboy in, in English is called swill. Sa America at sa Europe pinagbawal na yan. No, so uh, I'm hoping here, medyo ma 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 magising na rin tayo. Wag na rin natin gawin yan, kasi. Uh, Pigs have this unique ability na kung ano yung nakain nila will be expressed in their meat. No? So, tulad namin, no? we, we, were, we have access to fruits. Pinobombahan namin sila ng prutas. <clears throat> There was a time, maraming saging. Di ba? Bin, 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 pinakain namin maraming saging. Ano yung naging lasa ng karne? Medyo manamis-namis. Mango season. Marami nahulog sa, sa puno, medyo nahinug na, nandun lang sa lupa, pinaipon, pinakain sa kanila for, for weeks prior to slaughter, no? or days. No? Nung kinatay, bah, eh, medyo citrusy yung, yung, yung karne. So, ano yan eh, it, it's subtle, pero it's there. Pero what it, what it also provides is a, is a unique marketing opportunity kung marunong ka mag-market niyan. Pero kung kanin baboy ang pinapakain mo, short of feeding them garbage, ganyan din ang magiging lasa ng karne. No? So let's, let's remove that assumption. No? And then, so others also want to take care of black pigs kasi akala nila pwedeng pakainin na lang ng damo, ng legumes, no? tapos okay na sila. They can tolerate it, pero that cannot be their sole dietary ration. Hindi pwede yun, no? Yung mga ruminants, yan pwede yan. Kasi they have, what, four stomachs. And their four stomachs were designed to, to be able to digest yung, yung fiber. Di ba? Ito, they're monogastric, omnivores, so they only have one stomach. No? And they can't tolerate it that much. No? And lastly, sinasabi nila, manipis ang taba ng native. No? Native pigs are lard animals. There are two kinds of, of, of pigs, eh. Lard, which puts on a, a thick back fat, and yung bacon type, which is leaner yung back fat. 
yung native pig natin is classified under the lard type. So, grown properly, lard type yan. So, yung sinasabi lang manipis ang taba, payat yun, malnourished yun. No? So, that's a false assumption. No? So, so, wag tayong ma... Let's not get swept away by sinasabi ng mga tao, healthy ito dahil manipis ang taba nito. Mali yun. Manipis ang taba niyan dahil hindi nila pinakain. Tapos pinakatay nila. Tapos yun na lang yung parang isa sa mga justifications. Or maybe it's just ignorance. Uh, th this is just uh, an overview of what uh, yung mga indigenous na breeds natin dito sa Philippines prior to being crossed to the ones brought in by yung colonizers natin at saka sa, sa Chinese traders. Ano? So they, they, they come from all over, from Palawan, from the Visayas. No, at saka dito sa Luzon. Uh, I think you can get this online. This is provided by the Bureau of Animal Industry. Pero yung ranged pork, no, pagka bred properly, fed properly, they don't have to look like this. Yan ang itsura ng poorly conformed animals. No? Pero you can find this online if you want to see it. No? Kasi may write-up dyan na medyo interesting. Eh. And each one will tell you what region they come from. No? Yung Palawan, yung Visayas, Warty, lahat yan nandun. Advantages of pig production. No? So this is the real, the real assumptions kung bakit marami yung mga tao na pumasok na dito. Uh, I was telling Andy and Buddy earlier, isa kami sa mga, hindi naman sa pioneers, pero isa kami sa mga unang nag-alaga ng mga kambing at tupa before. Tapos, halos lahat kami ngayon nag-aalaga na ng baboy. No? Uh, mostly because of this. No? Yung, yung gestation period nila halos pareho. Diba? So almost four months. So, so in two years, they'll give birth what? Three times? Tama ba yan? Or, or five times ba in two years? Three. No? Pero what's the most that a goat or a sheep can give birth to? Every litter. Two. Kung swerte ka. Minimum seven. Diba? Tapos yung goat, you have to wait until they are minimum 40 kilos, 35 kilos. Diba? Pero how long does that take? Six, seven months maybe? Ito, no, you can start selling them when they're 15 kilos, two months old. No? So, iba eh. No? Mabilis ang turnover for production. No? Uh, when I say shorter gestation period, that's in comparison to cattle, na medyo mahaba in gestation period. No? More affordable to acquire, unlike larger ruminants. Uh, Siyempre, mas mahal ang baboy kaysa sa baka. Eh, mas mahal ang baka kaysa sa baboy. More manageable to raise, di ba? Ang baka, kailangan mo ng malaking lupa, di ba? Baboy, hindi naman kailangan ng malaking lupa. So here, does not require a large area for rearing and like cattle, sheep, and goats. Can and will eat anything. So, pwedeng feeds, pwedeng gulay, pwedeng prutas. No? Uh, faster return on investment. Getting started. Okay. Find and know your market. Parang ano naman ito, eh, di ba? Basics sa pagninegosyo. Bago ka magpatayo ng negosyo, kailangan alam mo sino bibentahan mo ng produkto mo. Di ba? So, what market segment are you interested in serving? You have to choose. Diba? Hindi ka pwede bilhin lang ng baboy pagka nanganak. Shit, sakot to ibebenta ngayon. Diba? Hindi pwedeng ganun eh. So, <laughs> there are four market segments. No? One is you can sell breeders no? for those that who want to get started. No? Two, there's the cochinillo, yung suckling pig market. No? Ang difference ng cochinillo and suckling pig sa lechon is that the cochinillo is cooked in the oven Lechon is in the open fire. Diba? Sa spit, yung tawag nila. No? And then lastly, then, yan yung choice cuts. So you, you should choose. No? Or you can do a combination. Pero you should have a, a specific market that you want to really target already. Hindi yung parang, eh, bahala na when we get there. No? And, and then not know how to price it and not be familiar with it. Tapos babaratin ka when, by the time you're ready to sell. So now resource assessment. Now, you have to ask yourself these questions before you, you start getting your breeders, no? Uh, gano'ng kalaking area ko, no? 
how big is my area allocated for housing? How big is my area allocated for food preparation and storage? Yung bodega mo, tsaka yung pag, uh, handa ng pagkain nila. How big is my area for planting? Ako, I, I recommend na may, may pag-augment ka rin na, na pagkain na nakatanim. These are the legumes, no? And then, if you plan on uh, ranging animals, how big an area do you have for ranging? No? Next is uh, assess your capability to feed. Are you willing to buy feeds? No, you have to ask yourself that question to sustain your operations. And the next, tingnan mo yung lugar mo. Look at what you have in abundance. Marami ka bang puno ng manga? Marami ka bang puno ng santol, ng duhat, kung ano man. Ano? Things that you may be able to feed your animal. No? Kasi all of that can add uh, to, to your capability. And then lastly, as Lastly, assess your capability of market acceptance ng product mo. So again, kailangan alam mo kung anong market segment sa serve mo. No? More or less, you have an idea na kung ano ang magiging uh, price that you would like to offer it there. No? Kasi, if you're thinking, gusto ko ibenta ito sa palengke. Gusto ko ibenta ito sa palengke ng 4 to 600 pesos per kilo. Bibilihin ba yan sa palengke at 4 to 600 pesos per kilo? No. no. So, so those are some things you have to ask yourself. Pumunta ka ng healthy options. Pumunta ka ng Rostans. Pumunta ka ng, ng uh, Pure Gold or Walter Mart. 4 to 600 kilo, uh, pesos per kilo pwede yan. Diba? So those are some things that you have to, to consider. No? Uh, kung saan mo ibibenta, kung kaya nila ang presyo mo. All right? Determine the production system. Ito, very important ito. No? Kasi there are different ways of, of raising the, the pigs, different production systems. Eh. Diba? So, one, will they be ranged? Will they be semi-ranged? Will they be fully confined? Fully confined, yan yung mga conventional piggeries. Diba? Ako, personally, semi-ranged yung sa akin. No? Ay, uh, ang sows ko, um, ang breeders ko are mostly confined. Pero after they give birth, no, ay, um, upon weaning, hinihiwalay ko sila for the flushing period. Flushing is when you improve yung body condition ng, ng mga breeders mo after they've been nursing their litter. No? So, ilalagay ko sila sa isang group housing kasama ng mga ibang sows. Bibigyan ko sila ng mas nutritious na pagkain before I rebreed them. No? And then, yung mga anak naman, they will be fully confined until mag-stabilize yung digestive system nila. And then, I will range them until such a time na ihihiwalay ko na yung lalaki sa babae. No? So, those are some different ways of yung production system of range, semi-range, or fully confined. May iba naman na fully ranged. Problems naman sa fully ranged, nakawala lahat, lalaki, babae nagkakastahan lahat. Hindi mo alam kung sino nanay, tatay, ng mga biik na umiikot. Di ba? Hindi mo alam kung mag-ama, mag-ina, magkapatid, yung mga nag-breed. Hindi mo alam kung sino nanay, tatay, ng biik. Uh, a lot of managerial problems pagkadating sa ganyan. You know? so, but anyways, th those are some decisions that you have to make. Uh, deep bedded system, that's the style of flooring na ginagawa nila sa housing usually ng mga breeders mo. No? You can learn about the deep bedded system in natural farming uh, seminars. Usually what it is, is uh, about one meter in depth of uh, parang biodegradable material, yung mga nabubulok na ano, organic material, no? and then you apply uh, probiotics. Sa, sa natutunan ko at sa ginagamit namin, it's about 0.6 na coconut husk, 0.2 of dried leaves, dried grasses, and branches. And then point two ng kusot at lupa na combined. Usually, it's dalawang kusot sa isang lupa. Yan yung ratio namin sa sako. And then, sinasabugan ng konting asin. And then, didilig ng, ano, ng, ng probiotics. No? So, it makes for very, very soft flooring. Tapos, very absorbent. So, uh, whenever they take care of their business, whether it's number one or number two, hindi nangangamoy. Mabilis mag-decompose. 
No, and then when you're done, maybe in about a year, year and a half, maybe even longer, depending on the volume ng, ng paggamit ng housing na yan, take out all of that bedding, topsoil siya sa vegetable garden mo. No, very, 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 very useful yan. If you get a chance to attend the natural farming seminar, matututunan niyo yung DBS yan. Very important. No? So, yan, type of housing. Single housing or group housing. Yan yung mga kailangan yung pag-isipan. Uh, group housing has to be very temporary. In our case kasi, no, uh, we only group house them pagka hindi pa sila buntis. Kasi when we group house them pagka meron ng may laman, yung chances of miscarriage are very high. Kasi syempre, pagka nagpapakain na, it's, it's a competition eh. Laban-laban na sila to, to fight for their food. So minsan may suwagan dyan. So, uh, pagka hindi pa sila buntis, that's the only time that I would recommend na may group housing. You know? Pero pagka buntis na yan, I would recommend na individual na sila. Para ma-monitor mo rin when it's time for them to give birth na. Uh, type of feeding. Again, uh, it can be a combination of any. Pwede siyang wet. No? Pwede siyang... By, by wet, there's the feeds na fermented. By wet, there's the uh, vegetables na washed or wet vegetables na cooked. Uh, and then there's dry, yung feeds lang that you just give it as is. And then there's foraged or pastured, yung pakakawalan mo in an open field para to get whatever they can from, from the ground. No? Or you can do a combination. No? Ipa-arrange mo sila a certain time of the day, pabalik mo, pakainin mo ng balancing ration. Better for them. No? This is done in America. No, hmm? no I'll, I'll show you pictures of the one in my farm later. But this is just to show you, no? Uh, this is being done in other countries. No? They're ranged. They're bred properly, fed properly. No? They don't look feral. Yeah. They look like our conventional na white pigs. Very, very healthy. Ganda na confirmation. Yeah, Tinan mo yung mga pige, bilog na bilog, ang lapad ng shoulders. Diba? That beautiful animal. No? You can look them up in Instagram, Autumn Olive Farms. No? This is a cross between a Berkshire and an Osabow no? uh, breed. O-S-S-A-B-A-W. Very, very good site. Uh, very informative itong, itong page na ito sa Instagram. No? Again, it's them. Free range does not mean management free or free of human intervention. No? Na, ganda, eh? Tinan mo, pati pakainan nila. Nothing fancy. Ganyan lang, oh. They can be ranged and then they can come back. Nandiyan yung tamang pagkain na pwede nilang kainin. Di ba? Yeah, Tinan mo nakalagay. Ranged hogs need supplemental feeding to assure all nutritional needs are met. Uh, there are very few farms in the Philippines na ganyan ang itsura ng baboy. Choosing the right breed. Uh, so there, there, there are a lot of options here. No? So you can go with a full blood or a straight bred native. By full blood, maraming strains ng native. No? Meron kalinga, meron, uh, uh, ano pa ba yung pangalan ng iba? May halahala, may... Basta all those, all those breeds, basta they're bred pure for that, yun ang full blood. Yung straight bred, that means kung kalinga... Bread to, uh, ano ba yung tawag dun sa, sa Quezon na breed? Uh, Bundok Peninsula. Kung i-cross mo yon, they're straight bread. Kasi native sa native naman yan. Pero that's still a native. So there's a difference between full blood and straight bread. No, pero they're still native. Basta native siya. So that's an option. Ano? And then there's the upgraded or cross bread. No? So you can choose from those two. Now, uh, but if you choose between an upgraded and crossbred, pag-isipan mo rin, what breed do you want to cross with your native if you want to upgrade or if you want to cross something to your native? No, Daming choices dyan. There's the Berkshire, Duroc, Hampshire, Large White, Landrace, Hampshire, Large Black. Now, again, all of this has to be determined by the production system na pipiliin ninyo. Kasi hindi... These, not all of these pigs are the same, no? Each one brings with it different traits. No? Well, una-una, 
there are range breeds here, and then there are breeds for confinement. So these confinement breeds, they're not going to do well. Lagay mo yan sa range, ihina yan, hindi lakaya yon. No? So this would be the large white land race. Medyo mahina yan sa range. Pero full confinement, iiwanan niya lahat naman ito. Large Black, Hampshire, Duroc, at uh, Berkshire. Lahat yan may iiwanan pagka full confinement yan. Pero kung may partial range ka or full range ka, iiwanan naman ang large white land race ng Berkshire, Duroc, Hampshire, Large Black. No? So you have to choose. Kung anong production system mo, choose what you're going to cross. Di ba? Kasi if you're going to range your animal and then you're going to cross them to a large white, that's not going to work. Di ba? So maximize them. You have to know the traits. No? Uh, large white, land race, they provide good body, they provide good mothering ability, good carcass features, but they, they're leaner in fat. No? Uh, large black is a range breed known to be lean in fat. Hampshire is a, large, is a range breed known to have thin skin, uh, but a very, very good terminal size, gives good size. No, so each one gives a different uh, trait. Ako, I choose the Berkshire. No? Uh, medyo, uh, medyo mahilig tayo kumain. No? So, uh, we know na pagkadating sa beef, walang tatalo sa Kobe beef or sa Wagyu. Di ba? Well, meron ding ganun ng pork. That is the Berkshire breed. No? Uh, I think sa video kanina na kwento that the Berkshire was a breed that was maintained by the royal family sometime in the 1600s pa. They kept it because of its outstanding meat quality. No? Marbling yung, yung karne niya. So as aron of an act of uh, diplomacy, binigyan naman nila yung emperor of Japan who also loved it. He named it Kurobota, which is a literal translation of black pig. So, tinuloy-tuloy uh, na lang nila yung breeding. You know how Japanese are. They elevate eating and food to a whole different level. No? So, uh, I researched it. I researched what, what is the best pork. Kurobota it is. Kurobota is Berkshire. That's why ako, I went with Berkshire. Berkshire naman is a range breed. So, I felt that that would have been the best cross the native. Kasi yun yung production system na ginagawa namin sa farm partial, uh, semi-ranged, di ba? Oh, factors in choosing. Yun, tulad ang sinabi ko. Depends on what market you're serving and it depends on your uh, uh, production system, di ba? So, the ones that are, I, I, I would say yung Duroc, yung Large White, yung Land Race, even the Hampshire, uh, would make very, very good contributions if you're looking for the choice cut market, no? Uh, the Berkshire, the Duroc, uh, the large white land race would also do good naman para sa lechon because of the faster growth rate. The Berkshire always brings something different sa, sa table kasi meat quality naman yung inaano niya. Hampshire, medyo torn tayo dyan kasi hindi pwede manipis na balat sa lechon. No? Pero sa choice cuts, okay lang yan. No? So those are the factors in choosing kung ano yung breed na ikocross mo sa native mo. So, choosing the right breeder. Ito, uh, medyo touchy ito. No? Ay ayoko makasagasa ng mga ibang nag-aalaga ng, ng, uh, ng baboy sa, sa internet or, or kung saan man. No? Pero for your protection, there, there are certain things that you have to watch out for para maprotektahan ninyo yung investment ninyo when you start buying breeders for your farm. No? So, one, kung may pupuntahan ka yung breeder at may bala kayong bilihin, di ba? check ninyo, no? Yung farm ba niya, farm ba talaga? O parang, ano lang, backyard lang, yung mga uh, baboy niya nakalagay sa kulungan ng aso, o ano, yung mga ganon, di ba? So you have to check, is he really a working farm? No, is he, is he serious about the, his piggery business? Is he, is he serving a particular market segment? May sinusupplyan ba siyang lechonero? Naglilechon ba siya? May sinusupplyan ba siya sa palengke? Those are some things you should, uh, you should ask them. And they should have ready answers. Diba? Kasi, here, then you can find out customer testimonies sa kanila. Sasabihin nila, yung baboy ko, it produces great meat. Paano mo malalaman? You have to find out who their customers are. Diba? Ang daming fly by night eh. Diba? So, we have to ask these questions. Diba? What's the proof of the 
and products quality. Kasi bottom line, if you're getting from them, yun ang foundation ninyo. If they can't stand behind yung quality ng product nila, how can you stand behind your product getting from them? 